Well, a large transfer of taxpayer money has inflamed tensions between state legislators. Fox 43's Harry Lee has details on that, along with the latest on the fight for control of the state house. In late November, more than $51 million in Pennsylvania House funds was transferred from various accounts to a Republican-controlled account. Democrats say outgoing Speaker of the House Brian Cutler is trying to undercut the office, which they have already claimed control of for next session. The House Democratic Caucus wrote in a statement that the transfer is meant to be an intentional setback for the House Democratic Caucus and in turn the body as a whole. This unprecedented action leaves the new speaker with no reserves and a limited operating budget for this fiscal year. Republicans say the money was allocated to and saved by the Republican caucus, so they should get to keep it. It's essentially 12 years worth of surpluses that have accumulated because we've managed our finances very responsibly. The transfer comes amid tensions over who will hold the House majority. Democrats won 102 seats to Republicans 101. Democratic lawmakers then moved to install Representative Joanna McClinton as Speaker of the House. But three seats are vacant because one representative died and two others were elected into higher office. So Republicans will have a voting majority when the session begins. Well, the math is quite simple. 101 is greater than 99. And when we show up on swearing in day at the beginning of January, our very first order of business will be to vote for a speaker. Republicans rejected Democrats' claim to the House majority, though all three vacant seats are statistically likely to go to Democrats. Cutler says Republicans should stay in control until the seats are filled. I don't believe that the Democrats have perfected the science of gerrymandering to the point where we no longer need to have elections. We will seek to have candidates in all three of those elections and we'll run the contest. It's very important that the people vote. That's why we waited until after all the ballots were counted before declaring who won and who didn't. And it's unfortunate that some would rush to power and not wait for the votes to be counted. Cutler says he will not run for Speaker of the House, but will serve as Republican caucus leader instead. Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.